Today I'm going to show you five tips for beginners. If you're new to the game, these are just some tips to help you out. So to start, let's go to just your build menu here. And as you can see in the top right corner, there's this little spyglass. And with this, you can search anything in the game. And as you can see, I'm using Japan to search because this town I'm building here has a lot of Japanese themed buildings. So if you kind of lose track of something, this is really helpful. And next, if you scroll back down to the bottom of the build menu, you're gonna find this eyedropper tool. You can also search for it with the search bar if you can't find it. And this is just gonna let you click on existing structures to copy them. And this can save you a lot of time when you're building. Um, it doesn't work on everything, like for example, you can't use it on terrain or certain trees unless they're a decoration. But pretty much everything else you can use the eyedropper tool on. Next up, we have the move building tool, um, and this will just help you move buildings. It doesn't work on the zoned building, so like residential, commercial, uh, industrial, because those buildings can change if they're not locked. So what it does work on is things like parks, sports centers. This is also a very helpful tool. You don't have to delete anything and pay to rebuild it. Next up, we have manual building. So in regular auto zoning, you would just zone and then they build whatever buildings. But if you go to this icon here, manual building, this, you can look into each category, the lower, the middle, the higher, and it's going to show every single building from that category. And you can plop them down wherever you want. So this gives you a lot of control building. Next up, we're going to go into terrain and into plants. And in this section, you're going to see this thing called tree planter. And if you click on it and you go to configure, you can select different trees and plants and it's going to like paintbrush them into an area. So you can do as many as you want or as little. It's really good to kind of play around with the settings. Once you've selected your trees, you have the brush size, the density and the roughness. So obviously if you make the brush, brush size smaller, it's going to do a smaller radius, larger, larger radius. The density is going to affect the frequency of how many plants are in there. But you can just play around with this and see how it looks. And next up, we have this weather machine. Now, this isn't really to improve building, but if you want a specific weather in your town, you can build this little tower and you can also upgrade it so it gives you fog, but it will set the weather for you. So maybe you want it sunny, maybe you want it raining. You can also use the thunderstorms, but this one is a little bit risky. It, it will strike the ground <laughs> and I think it can set things on fire. So it's kind of annoying the, the lightning setting. I kind of wish it didn't do that, but this you can also use in combination with winter mode. So if you go into your settings and you go to gameplay and you go to winter and you set it on, and then you come back to your weather machine and you turn it to rainy, you're going to get snow. Well, that's it for my tips today. I hope they're helpful to you. If you like my videos, please subscribe and give a like. I will see you next time. Bye bye.